actually eight, have inherited the ancient condemnation that the Tommaso Crudeli suffered as uh, he taught, said, and wrote in opposition to the monodominant thought and absolute control of his time. Since uh, 1988 to 1989, some descendants, including me, began to collect papers with documentation, sometimes contradictory, sometimes repetitive, which research we have been able to rebuild the entire affair of the anywhere, in addition to the absolute lack of tolerance and compassion during the unjust imprisonment, there were several periods of design to deny and to make people forget the cruelty of the Inquisition tribunals scattered everywhere in three continents. The descendants began to re-explore all the documentary evidence, discharging those deliberately tampered with it, or incorrectly reported. In the end, even with the holographic documents found in various parts of Europe, also in Boston, Massachusetts, we have reconstructed this story with the help of university researcher, anatomy, pathologists, archives, and many volunteers. The Article 18 of uh, Human Rights of uh, uh, Universal Declaration passed in uh, 1948 rested that the man has the right to change his thought of opinion, creeds, cautions, and according with the following Articles 19 and 20, he can express himself by communicating his thinking to others in different forms. Furthermore, Article 18, which is part of the constitutional freedom, relates directly with Article 1, and it does not refer to material deprivation but immaterial essence of man, to his uh, uh, thinking with the intrinsic, annihilable, and uh, suppressible. The two articles contain the piece as it were sacred entire universal declaration, taught, cautions, religion. It's a triangular value more intense ethic which qualified the original legal sub subjectivity of the human individual whose right cautions is the true own tribunal of last instance of the rights. You can kill the man, but uh, you will not win his thinking. Let me take you back to 1750s in Florence. Tommaso was born in a wealthy family in uh, the eponymous palace. He graduated in Pisa, in law, in 1726. As a young man opposed to monoreligious uh, thought and did not spare public criticism to clerics. He found in the Protestant Britain colony in Florence the useful form to continue his challenge and join the English Masonic Lodge in Florence. In 1738, Pope Clement XII issued a bull of excommunication followed by Edith Ferrau, with which it reinforced the severity of the measure death penalty. It needed exemplary demonstration. In May 1739, the Crudeli was imprisoned, with no cause provided, and placed in the very narrow prison of the Inquisition, in which he could not even stand up, with straw on the floor and without point. Later, he was put in a completely dark cell, with no air in a horrible stench, after three months of such torture, with no human contact and understanding of imputation, the Crudeli was subjected to the first interrogation. The Inquisitor, hoping for a mental and physical collapse of the prisoner, had already prepared the means of a confession that Crudeli refused. Another three months in the dark, Tommaso's father begged the religious authorities for the release of his son, and they denied him. He died of a broke heart in front of the prison. After another interrogation, 
hoping that they would die in prison, the Inquisitor sent him in a sadistic confinement for a total 13 months of inhuman condition, which was devastating for him due to the lack of air and light. His determination, however, came to help him, holding him in life. Just a point, these five methods used by Tribunal Inquisition, Tribunal is the same afterwards used by KGB of Soviet Union. The only difference is that they are using this, the last one, we are using the light, so a quantity of serotonin for full day, and the first one, the Tribunal Inquisitor, all on black, the dark. Darkness, total darkness means a lot of monotony. So it means the man loses the will, the capability of react. is sleeping more 20, 22 hours per day. The Inquisition failed the object, condemning him with a value religious accusation and charge. He was so convinced. The sentence commuted to a house arresting his palace in Poppy, where he remained bedridden until death. Francesco I, Francesco I, Lorraine, asked to Crudeli for a detailed report of his uh, captivity. Based on this account, the Grand Duke closed the Inquisition Tribunal. It was the first tribunal of a set of feature to be closed, 50 years before the French Revolution. The year was uh, 1742, and Tommaso Crudeli was still alive. His martyrdom was therefore not in vain. Later, the enlightened policy of Lorraine demolished the court physically in 1756, leading to abolish for the first time in the world the death penalty. What is the peculiarity of the affair today? It was the point of not return where the secular power imposing itself permanently to the ecclesiastic power began to protect the freedom of conscience of men, to protect the right of, to liberty of conscience of the citizens. In short, the Grand Duke of Lorraine was really an enlightened man. Indirectly, really, the, line, the right of freedom of thought and freedom to communicate by any means stopping absolutism wanted by the Inquisition. Tommaso is the, the forerunner of Article 18 of Human Rights, which is a, why we identify Tommaso Cudeli as the champion of Article 18. Between us and Tommaso, there are about 280 years. Over time, the memory becomes a past uh, historiographical one that is processed and transformed. We have identified rectify. We finally have the recomposition of all historical facts in the most objective form. This was our first objective, which is followed by another one. To disseminate as much as possible the fact, you know, on the order. On the other hand, to educate living and future generation with documentation and reflection. From, from seeing what uh, we lost, or asking now the justification or penalties for the events occurred and frozen for three centuries. We tell the story of Tommaso, an example for generations. We were to make the frozen history relevant in today's world, to make a difference. Preliminary activities we have done before the, the, to open the museum. We rebuilt the literary and poetry works of Tommaso, rebuilt the whole process of Inquisition with authentic texts, identifying individual counterfeiters, even Tommaso Bloody Salid was even identified, organized five national and international conferences, developed and directed nine annual memorial councils, 
for philological and historical essay along with the Italian University, named 58 honorants, published four university specialized books, published many dozen of articles in a newspaper and magazine, gifted seven busts of museums in Italy and the US, six of the waiting list in the US and one in the UK. And finally now we open the Museum Affair today and Article 18 Human Rights in his hometown, Pop in Tuscany. The physical museum carried into a basement of the 13th century castle will consist of four points inside the wall of town within the distance of only 400 meters. Let's see, this is the vision, aerial vision, and this is the overlap, overlap. The blue zone are the diffuse views. Let's see, this is the castle of Guidi. Topic. This is the main stair inside, and here on the basement, you can see we are calling Italian secret, means secrets. There is the entry uh, of the museum. This is a museum, the hall, main hall, and uh, the panel made by students of the Lyceum, local Lyceum. This is a Palazzo Crudeli in which died Tommaso. And it is closed uh, always in the walled uh, town. And uh, we can see there is some uh, lovers' splats on the wall. And uh, more, we have to say that uh, we want to reach Florence to expand the museum. In the building where the English Masonic Lodge met, on the spot where Tommaso was arrested, the place where he was imprisoned. So, we want to enlarge our diffuse museum. The museum the newly created wants to take the visitor attention, argue with them, get to the bottom of the Ferracudeli to understand that fanatism is the death of our mind. For absence of doubt, the end of, of evolution of thought, the end of the progress of research, the end of science and of the study. If we follow the learning theory of Professor George Hain, we realize that each visitor constructs meaning out of the material presented by the museum. If a museum offers the visitor a strong emotion, this can score in his memory a greater and permanent recall. Neurologists say cerebral emotion energy, or in another side, the new why is the mirror neurons made by the score by Professor. Jack Rizzola. What we want to offer as a strong emotion to create an empathy is the bed of, in which Thomas laid and dictated the relationship that allowed the Grand Duke of Lorraine to stop the Holy Inquisition. And within this uh, represents symbolically one point of not return of the Enlightenment. We can also connect it with the overseas music for art and literary contest. For instance, this is a Han Valley Museum in Maryland for the same aim. And the virtual museum, it is inspired by the our director of museum studies at Harvard College, Massachusetts. In the virtual museum, it will be uh, the emotional moment given by seeing and touching the Tommaso mortal bed. But we can still tell a passionate story. How is it to consider, especially towards a large part of the audience that cannot physically reach the poppy? It is uh, this audience that we want to convey our message at zero cost by passing an, any kind of border, limiting the knowledge, religious and ideological censorship. We know that uh, the realization of the virtual museum will reduce cost without revenues. But we consider it ethically correct as it better would accomplish our mission. More, the visitor has to leave the museum with something tangible, 
that we can recall the memory of uh, what he has seen. We, are, we will get some particular odd surprise, so we invite you to reach us in the book. In short, we are inspired to make a living museum in progress, interactive, interactive and leading to understand the importance of tolerance and respect for others' ideas and invoking the Article 18 of the uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. We know the heavy burden of torture inflicted to Thomas Gudeli is amongst the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of men who are not aligned to the view rules imposed by religion or political ide ideologies. At greater reason, we hope that the, our museum activities can be the way for reflection of uh, a growing doubt. And I deeply convinced that I am right and I could impose my truth to the others. We count on, uh, on your support and your suggestion. Thank you.